Okay, enough of that. I do wonder how many of you guys got that reference, so let us know in the comments. The first battery on the lineup is the IndiePro Micro Series. At $239, it is the second cheapest battery, and the form factor is actually pretty good. Next is Gen Energy at 98 watt hours. At $239, it is the same price as the second cheapest available, and it is also short and shock proof. The next battery is IDX's Endura's HL10DS. It is the most expensive battery, the heaviest, and it also requires a proprietary charger. The last one on our testing is Endura's Duo C98. At $229, it is the cheapest battery on the lineup. This is some of our testing equipment. We use amp meter, voltmeters, DC power adapter, light meter, thermal camera, humidity meter, thermometer, lights for load, LAN part, v mount. Uh, you guys get the point. And the metallic Predator. Lots of patience and time. So as heavy as the Endura HL10DS is, it's pretty ergonomic. I gotta be honest, I am not a fan of this IDX Advanced D-Tap and how difficult it was to open. By comparison, the IndiePro regular D-Tap was an ease to open and it swings out of the way. Awesome. And the Gen Energy battery felt like a tank and it was easy to open too. So for the test, we had a couple of lamps drawing about six amps or so. We then took Temperature and light readings for each volt loss for each battery. Let them rest, recharge them, and repeated the test three times for accuracy. We used a thermal camera to let us know how hot each battery got and how they handled heat dissipation. The light lux readings help us see how each battery kept its performance throughout a charge. These are some quick highlights of the test result. However, there is way too much information to be put on a single video, so please take a look at the attachment that I put in the description so that you guys can take a much closer look to what this all means thank you so much for watching hit us up with questions and comments and please subscribe for more content like this and as always see you on the next one